this was the week where <clears throat> Tucker Carlson, an only man who thinks of the green M&M while making love to his wife, dedicated a 12-minute rant. This is primetime television on the most watched network somehow in the world to a new book about Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Uh, this is an insane rant. It is unhinged, but also it's kind of his like rom-com. Like, I think this is his meet cute for AOC when they fall in love because he's clearly got a thing for her. Let's watch. But we did understand the next line. The degradations of womanhood are personal to her. Well, that's certainly true. No one has done more personally to degrade American womanhood than Sandy Cortez has. She is living proof that 60 years of feminist liberation did not work. Sandy Cortez is not empowered. She's neurotic and silly. She is far more frivolous than any 1950s housewife ever was. June Cleaver was a more serious person. At least she made dinner. But the funniest of all was hearing Sandy Cortez describe herself as a woman of color. She often does. No one ever dares to challenge that description, but every honest person knows it is hilariously absurd. There is no place on earth outside of American colleges and newsrooms where Sandy Cortez would be recognized as a, quote, woman of color, because she's not. She's a rich, entitled white lady. She's the pampered, obnoxious ski bunny in the matching snowsuit who tells you to pull up your mask while you're standing in the lift line at Jackson Hole. They're all the same. Doesn't matter which shade they are. It really is as if she were exhausted and wanting to talk. I'm alone today, she says pointedly at the camera. I'm alone today, Ocasio-Cortez says pointedly at the camera. Is it just us or does that sound like an invitation to a booty call? Maybe one step from what are you wearing? Either way, it's a little strange. It's definitely oversharing. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, 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 I think it's just you, bro. It is just you who no, thinks that that is a booty call. I could have gone my whole life without hearing Tucker Carlson say the words booty call. <laughs> uh, it's it's very disturbing. Uh, I'm probably going to have nightmares about it. Uh, he definitely has a thing for AOC. I, I mean, it's it's a little thirsty. That that look is, is not a good look for you, Tucker. Um, this is talking like, about ski lifts and bunnies and um, <laughs> June was, Cleaver. Was that's the that was a there was so let's take it by parts. Uh, the, the ski lift line, arguably the most bizarre line, because he was like, The lady who tells you to pull up your mask in a ski line at Jackson Hole waiting for the lift. Like, did that happen to you? I'm just like, Who knows that? I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Are you just describing your winter vacation, bro? Because I think that's exactly what happened to you. So there's that. There's a fact that, okay, you know that he calls her Sandy to just like as a sign of disrespect. Yeah. Maybe I I can't even imagine. Like, I don't, I'm not even sure if maybe one point in her life she was ever called Sandy. Doesn't matter. They dug it up from like college when uh, she was also dancing. Remember that whole video? It was like, look at AOC dancing and having fun. Need to be alone. <laughs> I wonder if his wife is at home. Like he's talking about AOC again. He probably uh, he does this whispers in his about sleep. her in his sleep. Yeah, she's like, ah, oh, here we go again. You're talking about AOC. <laughs> First of all, Corinda, tell me they don't role play as AOC. Like, tell me she's not like, I want socialism. Yes. <laughs> Thief and the police, like they, they fucking role play. I know it's gross, but his wife puts on all green, writes M and M, puts on some white high heeled boots, and is Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, and it's fucking weird. We all know it's weird. Um, and they're like in their bedroom, like pretending to standing in a standing in a bread line or something. Like yeah, yes, to like me, feel some sort of oppression. Yeah, let me let me scooch up closer to you, honey. Like. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah wow this this socialized medicine it's so tough will you be my socialist doctor Ooh. <laughs> like that's just the lamest role play that's bad um, so okay feminist liberation was wrong like just insane misogyny the idea that a congresswoman because of who she is, because she like he doesn't like that he go she goes live on Instagram and gives us insight into her life. He doesn't like that this book talked about it. Um, 
that the women's rights movement was all for nothing. And, um, you know, and he got uh, that little dig in there, but like, she probably doesn't cook. I'm just like, wow. Yeah, exactly. J she, at least June Cleaver had, had dinner ready. First of all, fuck you so resoundingly. Lame. Fuck you, Tucker Carlson, period. That's it. There is in no world is what you're doing. Okay. And there was someone who wanted to respond to it. We could take it part by part. Cause, uh, you know, the, she, she might be, <laughs> she might not have dinner ready, which by the way, she definitely cooks cause she's Instagram live her cooking. Exactly. Um, but she's also the queen of dunking on pretty much any troll who comes at her, including Tucker Carlson. So her first tweet in response was, this is the type of stuff you say when your name starts with P and ends with Dejo as in <laughs> Pendejo. <laughs> um, and then she goes, remember when the right wing had a meltdown when I suggested they exhibit obsessive impulses about young women, around young women? Well, now Tucker Carlson is wishing for this on national TV. You're a creep, bro. If you're e this easy with sexual harassment on air, how are you treating your staff? Bingo. Yeah. I'm sure. His staff is probably like, we get this every day. Like, this is... <laughs> he this is, this always is what we have. talks about booty call. Like, would you like to make a booty call? What does he know about booty call? Oh God! Is he, listen I, is he secretly listening to rap from the eighties when he goes to bed? <laughs> I don't even feel like that was in any songs. Like booty, I don't know. I feel like no. It's it's. And, I it don't was in a movie. Right. I think sure. Booty the call. Movie, maybe, the movie. Maybe booty that. Call. Maybe that's his favorite movie. Maybe that's his favorite film. Yeah. Can you blame him? Um, <laughs> She goes on. She says, any man that talks like this will treat any woman like this. Doesn't matter if you're Republican, Democrat or neither. This is clearly not a safe person to leave alone with women. Once again, the existence of a wife or daughters doesn't make a man good. And this one is Basuda emoji with a little trash can. I love her so much. Um, and then she keeps going. I genuinely want to know why Tucker Carlson is allowed to allowed slash paid to engage in clear targeted libelous harassment that endangers people and drives them drives so many violent threats that people have to fundraise for their own safety why should they have to pay for this harassment make uh make it make sense it's not within the realm of political commentary it's not just me he regularly targets people of color that do not have access to resources for protection once he gets fantasizing about quote booty calls of women on national tv i cease to see the political value outside of incitement yeah, you put I your mean, finger. She's, on. she's absolutely right. But it's interesting that uh, Turco Carlson, like he never has any smoke for anybody who really needs it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he not. doesn't have anything to say about any political discourse that has any meaningful. Uh, it is 100% culture war. He's it's just been women and culture yeah. wars and people who he knows like. Uh, AOC says doesn't have the resources to, you know, pay all this money for all the trolls that are going to come at them once he digs into them on his show. 100%. And, and the real thing is we've normalized his insanity and it is actually really funny because he does have a thing for both her and the green M&M &M mm -hmm. and Minnie Mouse or whatever other cartoon. But like, it is nice to hear and it's fucking ridiculous that AOC has to be the one to say it. And it's not like coming out of like Nancy Pelosi's mouth who, you know, springs into action every time, you know, someone says anything that might be anti-Israel, right? Or supposedly, um, supposedly anti-Semitic. But for this, she gets hung out to dry. But it's like that it's nice to have someone just remind us like this is not OK in let's not normalize this circus. But the real answer is. It is for incitement. I mean, it's the same thing as Janine Pirro going, get a gun, get one now, because Sharia law. I mean, like, that's what she does. Yeah. That's all she does. And it's the whole, it's the same exact shit. And Murdoch is the one backing it. And they love it. Never, there's never any consequences uh, for these people. Whatever they say, whatever they do, and whatever their followers do, uh, in response to what they say. They're yeah. always like, you know, when people sue them, Fox News goes into court and says stuff like, uh, we 
are not responsible for you believing what Tucker Carlson has to say. Everybody knows he's stupid. Like that's their defense right, it's in court. It's entertainment. I'm doing it for entertainment value. It's television. You should, you should know better. Like that's their defense. Which didn't court. hold up against Alex Jones when he was sued by the family right. members of the Newtown massacre. Rightfully so. And it was like, yeah. nah, bro, you can't just be like, I'm doing a bit here. Yeah. You've literally leaked people's addresses you've caused them to be leaked and you're saying that they fake the deaths of their children. So mm -hmm. nah, you can't do that. The real thing for me is we actually need to clamp down on m mainstream media outlets in terms of the, the amount of monopolies that they control. The fact that, you know, that Fox news, that the new uh, Fox news corporation news corp is allowed to get bigger and bigger and bigger and swallow up more and more channels, local stations, radio stations, network cable stations, from here across the pond. And I think, you know, what we saw in Canada was the result of that trickling in of Fox over. News right wing yeah. media. Yeah. 100%. But I thought, I thought we had laws against that monopolies. And like you couldn't have monopolies in media markets, but I, uh, they... you, after the, like, after the 94th Telecommunications Act, basically, when like, sort of Clinton they wiped that out. yeah they basically completely let down all the guardrails mm -hmm. um and and allowed folks to continue to mo monopolize um in addition I mean it's just like at what point are we gonna say we need to fucking nip this in the bud that this is not this cannot be news um well if some if someone from China or any brown or black country comes over and start to monopolize, we will change those laws immediately. <laughs> like they will be struck down and reversed, and they're gonna be like, "No, this right. can't happen." We need that, that, Chinese we billionaires need, to buy our we media. Need outside boogeyman to come in, and then we're all like, "Oh, no, no." Mm -mm, we yeah, can't. we believe in small <laughs> channels and like democratizing the radio waves and print newspaper. Yeah. Uh, so the little guys like Rupert Murdoch. So what you're saying is help us, China. Yeah. Or, you know, anybody, any, any brown or black company that can come in and, and just start <laughs> taking over stuff, they hate that. And Absolutely. laws start to change after that. You know, we saw that in California with Reagan with the guns. Like, they were all pro-gun until the Panthers started to carry them. And then Reagan was like, oh, no, we won't have that. We're going to need to do something about that. <laughs> we're going to change that law right now. What's going on, Fran Tifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.